Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Anna Wasag, and I love talking about fitness, and I love coaching people and helping them become their greatest version. So with that being said, today we are talking about building self-confidence and what has helped me in the past and what's helping me build confidence every single day and show up for you guys every single time. So it wasn't, it really wasn't always like this. I struggled with confidence for the longest of times, I swear to God. Growing up as a kid, I was super shy. I didn't have a large circle of friends and I would literally avoid strangers and making contact and meeting new people. But that is a very sheltered way of life. You need to connect with others. You need to put yourself out there in order to make these connections and have good friends and make long lasting friendships and all of those things. So I think it's super important to put yourself out there and build the confidence to do so and express yourself in the best, most confident way possible. And with that being said, I'm going to be going over some things that have helped me become more confident. All right, guys, so I apologize about the style of filming today. Uh, the reason why it's like this is because my camera is charging and I just didn't have enough time to get that done. Um, poor time management on my part, so I apologize. But I hope you guys don't mind this. Um, let's get right into it. And I have some notes. I'm not gonna hide that from you guys. I have been trying to hide it for the last couple of videos, but you know what? Let's be real, let's be raw here. I can't memorize everything and that is why we have notes. So the first point that I wanted to share with you is to visualize yourself already being that person that you wanna be, that confident version of you. How is she or he showing up every single day? Are they going out of there, stepping out of the comfort zone by meeting new people in person, online, whatever the case may be? Visualize yourself already being there and already having that confidence within yourself to show up in a way that embodies confidence, you know? So that's helped me a lot. I, I haven't always been confident, you guys, never ever. This is something that has taken so long, but it's baby steps, little things that add up and compound over time. So also, number two, sorry, I'm getting notifications. That's so unprofessional on a YouTube video, huh? I'm so weird. Um, number two is do one thing every single day that scares you. And I don't think it has to be every single day, but if you can get it done every single day, then by all means, go ahead and do that. I like to do one thing that scares me at least once a week, just to make sure that I'm keeping myself on my toes. Um, some days I'm afraid of reaching out to new women online. Like that's something that I freaking, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's hard to put yourself out there. It's hard to be on camera. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not perfect and of course you're going to get judged. Everybody is going to judge you whether you like it or not. So it's time to accept those things and just be confident about yourself and who you are. If you know yourself well, you will also start to embody confidence. So that's number two. Um, so number one, visualize yourself as already being confident. Show up as that confident self. And number two is to, what was number two? <laughs> See, this is why we have notes. Um, do one thing every single day that scares you. So that way you're facing your challenges and through those challenges, you grow as an individual. It's so crazy the things that you will realize about yourself and it'll just keep compounding and pouring into other areas of, of your life. And number three is to question your inner critic. Yes, that little voice, that little monkey mind inside your brain that goes, no, I don't think you could do that. I don't think you're good enough yet. You gotta keep studying. You gotta keep hiding yourself. That little critic, that voice inside your head is wrong and you have to question it, shut it off. A great way to do that is through meditation, um, yoga, doing something that brings you into the present moment, playing with your pets. It can be anything or reading. Um, get your mind right, people. It really helps. So that's the third point to gaining more self-confidence. Question your belief systems and what it is that you're saying to yourself on a daily basis. I think it's super important. Number four, take care of yourself. So this is huge and this is something that has really, really helped me with my self-confidence is working on my body and my 
my muscular chur, <laughs> building muscle, going to the gym, bodybuilding has definitely helped me so much. It's crazy. I don't remember being this confident ever in my life. And I literally do owe most of it to bodybuilding. Bodybuilding has seriously changed my life and lifting weights, pushing myself to the limits every single rep, every single set. And those are my tips for you guys today. And I hope you guys are able to take away from this video. Let me know what you learned. Be sure to leave a like below and I will see you guys again on Friday for Fitness Friday. Stay confident, my friends. Peace.